that's it. So thank you so much for inviting me for this important conference. So last year, in November 2022, the world population was estimated to reach 8 billion people. And this has been this a story of demographic growth over the last decade. And while it has slowed down, as we're hearing consistently from the different panelists, it will still continue for the decades to come. But what we see is that behind this average and this global trend, there are huge uh, differences. So we still have uh, countries that see their population grow, and these are mostly the poorest countries, but at the same time, we see a growing number of countries that see a declining population. And when we look at the fertility rate, we already have today 60% of the world population that is living in countries where the fertility rate is below 2.1, the theoretical reproductive rate. And in some countries, in, uh, in particular in, in Europe, we see that low fertility rate is coupled with aging population. And this, of course, is creating a number of anxieties. In Europe, and therefore, um, we see Western countries in the Eastern European countries and Central Asian countries where the population is actually already declining because this has been coupled with out migration. And when we look at Western European countries, the reason why the population has not declined is often because of migration that has been compensating for the fertility rate. So we are very clearly in a situation at a turning point, I would say. And uh, while we do see other countries and high-income countries in the world that have low fertility rates, this is the only region in Europe where we see the level of declining population in a large number of countries in our region, in particular in Eastern Europe. Uh, in. So, uh, this is why we see indeed a number of anxieties that are being created in the governments. And why are these anxieties? Because uh, the, the government sees a risk that it will result in labor and skill shortages, that it will result in a loss of economic productivity, in a loss of innovation. We see the risk of, uh, some governments see the risk of unsustainable fiscal pressure and also of cultural shift. 